Okay, so let us go to the shading dam and see what this bad thing has to offer us. Uh, so what you can do is you can click on T to get the toolbar and to get this extra option. And here what you can do is you can uh, get your render result or any of the images which are open within the file to be accessed. So currently I am getting this image which has a cute little dog. You can zoom in and zoom out with the help of mouse wheel and then with the help of middle click you can pan the image then you can come over here with the help of drop down you can select different images for example if i open this image as well uh, so with the help of drop down you can select any image that you like and uh, after that you get this option of uh, image only after you have opened one of the image you can uh, then select any other image if you want to replace it with uh, this is not limited to single images you can also open image sequence movies generated and uh, udims and remember i showed you the new button beside the open button what it actually helps us is uh, let me show you this generated option you can open a blank or you can open a color image whichever suits your mind then you have this uv grid which has this small plus which are useful for uh, unwrapping the object and then we have this color grid uh, which are also useful for unwrapping and along with unwrapping you also get the uh, help in udims when working with udims so currently i am using single image and we will be utilizing uh, this cute little doggy because doggy styles are getting popular today i'm sorry <laughs> dogs are getting popular today so this <laughs> so here in the show menu you can click on the uh, show menu to separate these menus and in this view option you don't have a lot i don't have a lot of options to explain you in detail but if you go to this image option you get a lot of beautiful options you can open a new image you can open a saved image open cache render uh, uh, let's just hypothetically imagine that you are rendering an image and it has stopped within the middle of the render uh, rendering the complete image so you can open that cache render replace if you want to replace this doggy style sorry dog with <laughs> another image and reload what it actually does is for example I have this image opened in Photoshop you can also use Krita which is a very wonderful and open source software especially useful for painting and GIMP which is also a photo editing software so I have this doggy over here and if I draw anything over here and save this image and go to the blender and uh, go to image and click on reload or alt R you just get reloaded that image then edit externally this is a very wonderful option for this to work what you need to actually do is go to the edit and go to the preferences and here in the file path section you need to see for the image editor and by default this is like this you need to search for the folder where you have your image editing software it can be photoshop it can be krita krita is a very wonderful software uh, which can be useful for painting and a little bit of image uh, image manipulation and gimp is also a wonderful option and it is same as photoshop you can utilize that as well so after i have selected photoshop over here remember i have cleared the photoshop if i come over here and go to image and edit externally it will open the image editor for me and open that image especially for me let me open uh, that cute little doll and edit externally it will open that image for me in my specified image editor so that's how you can open that and uh, with the help of alt r you can just reload it back save as if you want to save a copy uh, invert i don't feel any use for that flip this is very useful when you want to have a very fresh perspective or fresh 
uh, outlook at your own artwork because our eyes get used to our artwork and can't find any mistakes in it or can't find any improvements that can be added to it with the help of flip you can do that easily and then we have this pack option what it actually does is uh, for example let me come over here and add an image texture and here we will connect this to the base color and uh, i will select the doggy i want the doggy because doggies are famous so i have this cute little puppy texture so without clicking on pack if i save this file on the desktop now why pack is necessary if i relocate this image file somewhere else remember i am relocating the dog file and if i go here and just imagine that after a lot of days you have opened the same file it will not be able to find the file pink color indicate that blender is trying to say you that man here was an image file and i am not able to find it please help me so we need to relocate the file so instead of that if you had and there is a cute little doll man okay so i got the cute little doll here is the smile and here is the smile which is making the wonderful world smile now if i go to the image menu and click on pack and if i save this file and remember this file was on desktop the cute little uh, doll so if i cut this and paste it somewhere else and now if i go to the folder sorry file and open the recent file it will be remembering that file because now the file is uh, the image file is packed within the blender file so that's how the pack option works and uh, extract palette what it what it actually does is if i go from object mode to texture paint mode why i am going there in the active tools tab when we go to texture paint we get this extra options on which i have created a special video if you want you can go on my youtube channel and search for texture palette you will get a wonderful video on that which will give you a deep dive into what actually consists of it so now if i get to this drop down menu i got this default color palette which blender gave me but if i go to this image menu and click on extract palette and now if i go to this drop down menu i got this new option and it has extracted image from this and created palettes of color over here if i select another image over here doggy and if i go to the image and click on extract palette you get an information over here a palette has been created and if i go to that image it will be the image extracted from this sorry palette which is extracted from this image after that you have got this generate grease pencil what it actually does is it will take your image and a bunch of pixels are created converted into vertices and that is placed in the 3d viewport which is over here so this is the image which has been created this is different this is a grease pencil object if i go to the tab and if i go very close to one of the thing if i select this bunch of vertices and zoom over here you see for each and every vertices there is almost sorry each and every pixel there is almost one vertices applied over there so there are a lot of vertices and this can make your image and your file a whole lot laggy so i hope that's it for this guys if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button leave a wonderful comment uh, if you want to support me you can support me through patreon page links will be given in the description if you want you can support me through google pay phone pay paytm phone number will be given in the description as well 
and if possible try to see the ads which are falling on these videos completely without skipping them that will help me a lot and uh, with that being said and then try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video